Alright guys, what's going on? This is my latest creation in Minecraft. This is my 96 pixel display. Uh, I got it set up like a little theater here. Uh, I got some lights hooked up and uh, I'm going to have memory hooked up to it and I'm going to have six preloaded images coming into it. So as you can see, uh, there's a couple switches here. This switch here is basically the RAM. This is the, the load into RAM button and the reset button so if I was to load an image in there and then I hit that it would save it and then also if I hit it again it would uh, reset it back to nothing and then this switch here is just the lights if you turn it on you'll see the lights will turn on there's something extra I put in there but yeah as like I said there's 96 pixels here 96 torches and if you come back here this is the control panel there's uh, for every torch there's a switch so it's fully programmable for uh, you know you can put anything you want in there and save it and so every time you turn one of these on one of the torches turn on and so this is basically the outside of it anyway so the way I have this set up is there's 96 pixels so I got 48 on each side 48 goes one way 48 goes the other way everything is exactly the same I mean literally down to the block and uh, the reason why you have to do that is because if you have half going one way and half going the other way and you know you have further distances than the other it'll take longer and it won't come through as you know as fast and and the main reason I did it this way is because the the you know putting half going one way half going the other way it basically speeds it up twice as fast and uh, if you looked at my CPU videos, you'll see it takes about five, six seconds for the answer to come through. And this one, it takes just over three seconds, right around three seconds. Yeah, this is the RAM that I was telling you about. This is uh, the load and reset button. It goes underground. This is what this is the switch I showed you that's inside the uh, theater itself. It comes down goes you know on a small bus right here and there's the switch that I showed you so that that's the load and the reset button these go basically into the torches this side here these are all the torches and as you can see right here there's blocks sitting right there and the reason why I have those blocks like that is uh, they're inverters because by default when you hook up a redstone torch they're on and that's not how you want to do it you want to have them off so when you p put an image through it actually turns just the torches that you want on on and when I turn a switch on it will turn it on instead of off <clears throat> it's just much easier that way I'll, show you. I'll just give you a quick example see those are the ones up at the top right there that I uh, just put the inverters on and so those ones are off and now if I put now if I turn one of them on it'll turn on instead of off and I'll show you I'll give you an example of the memory this is the load memory button see the torch actually stayed on and how it works is it'll stay in there forever as long as you want it to be in there and I can turn this switch back off and you know why this is relevant is because here I'll just show you make, make sure you can see the torch is still on even though I turned the switch off and then if I come down turn the uh, RAM bank off the switch will go out see that was pretty fast that takes about three seconds so the reason why to do that is because if you wanna you know activate multiple images you need to have it saved in RAM or you'll have to redo it every time so like I said I only have uh, two RAM banks hooked up but I'm gonna have like you know at least six of them hooked up because I'm eventually gonna do uh, like a slideshow I'm gonna have it hooked up to a program timer to where every five seconds it'll actually change images and go to the next image one of the other things I wanted to show you guys real quick is basically how the output works and how it basically 
you know, understands which RAM bank to, you know, get, you know, to choose the image from, even though you're telling it to, what will happen is it'll get, you know, basically confused if you have, like, say, six more images and hundreds of more bus lines coming from, like, over here, coming all the way across. It needs to know which, basically, which one to get it from and how it's going to do it. So I just want if you put power going in one direction, it'll go and jump the bus line and go back to whatever bank of ram it is and instead of basically the power going through the the uh, redstone repeater and going back into this ram bank and that would be definitely confuse it and it wouldn't work for sure so but that acts basically as a diode those of you not familiar with a diode it it basically lets power in one way and not the other and this is how it actually works in real life too so it's uh... you know you learn a lot from doing this in minecraft and i'll do it from this direction say say if this was one of the images say image number three from ram bank number three and it was coming down the bus line and then the power went down and it crossed and as you can see it basically jumps over the diode right there and instead of coming back down through it will know to just jump across it and go down into the torch and so if I take that one out and then I want to hook up say the first ram bank and go this direction it looks as though it's going the opposite direction and what I just told you is you know basically wrong but if I put a redstone repeater going this way it won't work it won't pass that repeater and same thing with all of them basically so if I turn the switch off though it would turn off all you know it would turn off all the RAM so oh and when you're putting hooking up these D flip flops and if you're not sure how to do the D flip flops this is the best way that I've found to do it uh, there's multiple D, D flip flop way you know I know at least four or five different ways to make the flip flop, but for something really big like this, you uh, you need the real small. These are one block and then one block in between, so like they are definitely the smallest version of the D flip flops, and they work. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, sorry again, I'm a little bit under the weather. Got sick a couple days ago, but trying to make this video, I made it twice already, and my computer was acting up, so. Uh, I'd say a couple days I'd have this done two or three days and uh, I'll be able to you know give you the full example of how it works and uh, if you need it you need, you need anything uh, answered I can make a video for you and please like the video sub to the channel anything that would help it takes tons and tons of time to make these videos I mean I got over a week just making this one alone and I mean it usually takes about a month to do this but I did it you know basically like eight hours a day so yeah if you can help me out in any way anyway sub to the channel uh, like and uh, on my main channel you'll see some of my friends on there on the other channels list check them out they're really cool guys they help me out they've been promoting me and uh, that's it guys I'll uh, see you in a couple days I hope you like the video and uh, don't forget to sub to the channel thanks